I'd like to introduce uh, Janusz Koka to you. Janusz. Thank you for the invitation. The um, inquiry for me today was to speak about the international market penetration. First is a product, an idea, uh, a project with stronger uh, unique selling points. Uh, you need it because uh, somehow you have to differentiate yourselves from other players, you have to highlight your advantages, you have to put innovation in something, you have to excel in something. And you have to have funding to this. Some, if not the majority of great ideas, goes out because uh, cannot find appropriate funding, an appropriate amount at appropriate time. The third thing is the market, the identification of the uh, best market fit to your product. And the most important part of the story is the management. My firm belief is that the product with strong unique selling points represent only 5% of the future value of your project. But my observation has always been that the easiest way to penetrate into a new market is to find a, a partner uh, which would uh, put his or her money into the company. So we are using the same security standard, uh, the same technology, the same server uh, equipment, but a totally different use case from Southeast in Asia. Uh, this is how we think about tailoring our products to the relevant uh, market uh, uh, places. You have to maintain your technology advantage and you have also to protect your rights. Uh, we have to compete with others with significantly more funding and the only way you can balance it somehow is the innovation that you have uh, in the Hungarian mind. If we are sort of successful, but not very, then we're going to be break even probably next year. If we will be successful, then we won't be breaking in any time soon. So you have to be very straightforward and very transparent to your investors because they will only buy into your story. You can uh, present your profitability on the uh, relevant actual scale. And if you scale it up, then they can put more money in it and sacrifice your profitability even in order to develop time. This is a 
test of uh, a personal integrity and maturity because I can tell you how proud I am that I was selected by the investors to lead this company because the founders uh, could feel their personal limits. Now the question if I will be wise enough to feel my personal limits at the point when I have to give over the leadership to someone who is better than myself in building a multinational organization or a corporate structure.